Not again. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I am Brian. Jessica is somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. Uh, but I have come home. This is what has been presented to me. So this is what I am dealing with. And if you guys saw the last one, there is a note. Brian. She didn't even try to like flourish it at all. It wasn't like, to my dearest love. No, okay. Dear Brian, please make something special. You know the rules. Smiley face, heart, Jessica. P.S. Here are the rules since you probably forgot. You can only use what is in the box, except basic spices, dry only, can be added as well, uh, can be added as well. Nothing fancy. You must utilize everything in the box. Everything underlined, underlined right there. So, all right, let's find out what is in the box. Okay, starting off, we have some fancy medjool dates. We have whole water chestnuts. We have some liquid aminos. We have some red wine vinegar. Interesting choice. We have some lime juice as well. What's in here? Oh, some finely chopped onions. I'll move that in so I'm not getting out of shot. Ooh, some organic Worcestershire sauce. I hope said that right. Uh, this is the uh, Whole Foods version, which is actually vegan. It does not have anything in there that is not, uh, that is any kind of animal product. And so it's like, it's actually, it's a great little product. Um, let's see, we have some better than bouillon. She likes to give me that. Um, peanut butter, homemade Jessica peanut butter. Um, we have some frozen broccoli and some frozen carrot uh, veggie spirals, interesting enough, and some butler soy curls. Is that it? Is there more? What's this? Is this just something in there? You may redeem this for one extra ingredient of your choosing, Peef. That is it. Thank you, Peef. Um, hopefully, uh, I can use this ex extremely well and uh, and make something super fancy. Uh, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this, and then I will get to cooking. Okay, so I have broken this down into the core components of what I actually made for this dish. And I am starting off with the butler soy curls. I made some veggie broth using the better than bouillon and some boiling hot water, had it in a pot that was uh, set to low just to kind of keep it good and hot. And I put in the entire bag of soy curls into that and stirred it up a bit to make sure that everything was nicely coated. After that, I added in a little bit of the Worcestershire sauce and gave that a stir, put on the lid, and then let it sit for 10 minutes. And just to talk a little bit about Butler Soy Curls, they are just made from soybeans, non-GMO, no pesticides whatsoever, and uh, are a wonderful meat replacement for anyone who is on a vegan or whole food plant-based diet. After 10 minutes, I uh, got out some dry spices here, some garlic powder and some onion powder, and put that on as well as added in a dash of cayenne pepper. And that was it. Very, very straightforward preparation for these. Uh, after I mixed in the dry ingredients, I turned up the temperature just a little bit, but kept it on low and cooked it without the lid on until most of the veggie broth had evaporated. I then removed it from the heat got out two portions of the soy curls and put it onto the tray for our lovely Ninja Foodie Smart Oven. Put them in for 375 for 10 minutes on air fry uh, and stirred them halfway through. Unfortunately, I forgot to record that part, so you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. 
All right, let's move on to the broccoli dish that I am making, uh, starting out with the peanut sauce that I made here. I pitted one of the medjool dates and put it into our blender cups. You can also use uh, a magic bullet or something of that sort, a small blender cup like that. Uh, if you just have a full-size blender, you may just have to make more of this to actually get it to blend inside of a blender. Uh, if not, I don't exactly know what to tell you. I am very sorry about that. But I added in some peanut butter with the date, as well as liquid aminos, red wine vinegar, and lime juice. Unfortunately, uh, I once again forgot to record putting in the lime juice into the cup and uh, actually blitzed it once before I finally added it in. So just trust me, it is actually in there. After that, I just blitzed it on high in our blender and uh, set it aside for a little while. Now, since Jessica put those lovely water chestnuts into the box, I decided to just slice those up very thinly. Uh, and I just did two of them because I didn't want to throw in a huge amount of them. I know Jessica really loves this. When we redid this recipe the second time after we were just testing out the recipe that Jessica wrote on the blog post, which is linked in the description below, she actually used more water chestnuts and cut them a little bit thicker too, and they turned out really good in that as well. So just sort of cut as many as you like for this recipe. Now, on to my greatest mistake of the entire night. I thought that the sauce needed to be a little bit thinner, so I added in two tablespoons of water. Do not do this. This is a mistake. It made it super, super runny, and it just did not work for this recipe. In fact, it really just, it, it just didn't work. So don't do that. Just keep it with the regular amount that was there before, and it will turn out really, really great. For the broccoli, it was frozen broccoli, so I thawed it out in the microwave for just a little bit before putting it into the bowl, and I got rid of some of the liquid that was down in the bottom of the bowl just to make sure that it was dry. Well, at least as dry as I could make it. After that, I added in the water chestnut and I took a good handful of the white onion that Jessica had given me and threw that in there as well. My goal here was to roast everything together and have it be nicely coated by this sauce. So yeah, I stirred everything together with the sauce realized that it was completely way too watery, but hopefully the flavors were still there. So I just figured that I would end up having to uh, work through this and figure something else out afterwards. And to cook it, I ended up putting it on my baking tray again, once again, for our air fryer. I use the air fryer for all three of these dishes, except for the pot on the stove. Uh, you can bake these as well. In fact, we tested some of these out for the soy curls and the veggies. So you can absolutely cook these in the oven if you only have an oven and you don't have uh, any kind of an air fryer. And you can see right there on this pan, look at that, that stuff is way too watery. Is what it is though, I'm sorry, my bad. So I put it on air roast for 20 minutes total, stirring once in between. And I figured that since I had all of that liquid just sitting there in the bowl, I might as well try to reduce it. So I put it into a hot pan, a really, really hot pan that was way too hot to actually do that. But I quickly turned the heat off and got this stirred up. It actually turned out pretty good for what I was wanting to do. So I was happy with that. Later on, I actually reincorporated this all back into the broccoli dish and it turned out really nice. And now on to the final thing, the carrot spirals. Uh, I thawed them out in hot water in our sink, which is actually what the instructions say to do. Uh, I then moved it into a bowl where there was a huge amount of liquid still in that bag. So I squeezed out as much as I possibly could and just made it as dry as I possibly could. Once I had it to a good dryness that I liked, I added in a splash of liquid aminos, added in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And look, I don't know if that's actually how you're supposed to say it. That's just the way that I was taught to say it, okay? I don't know. If there's Brits out there who are gonna complain about this, I am sorry, I don't speak that word very well. But if I got close, hey, all right, that's good. 
And then I added on some smoked paprika, actually the last of the can. It was just a bit, just to add a tiny bit of smokiness to this. But after tasting it, I thought it still needed something a little extra. So I cashed in my extra ingredient voucher that Heath gave me, and I ended up using it for some maple syrup. Thank you very much, Peef. This is 100% pure maple syrup. There is nothing added to it whatsoever. And uh, it's, it's the good kind, you know, it's not, it's not the cheap kind, it's the good stuff. So uh, yes, I know this is a bit more of a processed sugary kind of thing, but trust me, it actually did make these carrots turn out absolutely amazing. Once everything was coated nicely with the uh, liquid ingredients and that smoked paprika, I transferred it to our baking tray once again and put it into our air fryer. And I did air fry these for 375 for 10 minutes before pulling them out to see how they were doing. Uh, I could kind of smell them and they were getting some little charred bits on the outside. So if you are going to make these, I suggest that you toss them a couple of times while you're cooking it. So that way you get sort of even cooking all around. I kind of botched this one a little bit, but didn't matter in the end. Everything turned out really, really tasty. So that was it for me as far as the cooking was concerned. I brought Jessica in to plate it to make it look very nice and she could get some lovely photos, uh, especially for the blog post, which once again, the recipes and the cooking times uh, are on the blog post linked in the description below, as well as you can find links to the products that we used in here, including the Butler soy curls and other products that we use such as the appliances and the like. So please go ahead and check out that blog post. We do greatly appreciate it. But I think it's time that we get to actually tasting this. So Jessica, let's do it. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I already did that. Oh yeah. So there you have it. There you go. That's more like it. Uh, yes, there, here you go. This is your special meal that I have created for Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you have some butler soy curls that were uh, cooked in some veggie broth with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and some uh, gar sure. garlic and onion <laughs> powder. You have some slightly crispy and caramelized carrot noodles, whatever that is. And then you have uh, some roasted broccoli with onion, water chestnut with a peanut butter sauce. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty groovy, huh? So tell them what you thought. You may have already told them this, but what did you think when you first opened the mystery box? I thought it was a lot of ingredients. Yeah. I went back and counted, and he also had 12 ingredients in our last mystery box challenge. So apparently, I 12 is my number. So next time we do this, I'm going to try to pare down a little bit for you. But honestly, I don't really want to because look at all the creativity you came up with. You basically made three different dishes here. It is quite fantastic. And I'm even happy. if even if people don't want to try the entire dinner, they can try one of the little dishes and the recipes will be on our website. I made Brian write down everything as he was going. Um, so they will be on our website, crocsinthekitchen.com. Link in the blog post. Link, well, link in the description below to the blog post. Um, so check that out so you can make these yourself. But other than that... Should we just eat? Yes, let's get to eating. All right, so we're gonna try what first? Um, let's go ahead with the uh, the broccoli, I guess. Broccoli. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Wow. It's good. Water chestnut's still a bit crunchy. Onion is is really good in there. The broccoli I love is quite nice. water chestnuts, guys. He doesn't really. I'm like not them. big on them. I, like, I don't them. mind them, but I they're think they're great. But the surprising thing here is the peanut butter and broccoli combo. Like, mm -hmm. who would have thought that peanut butter and broccoli would be a good combo? Lots of people. Oh, well, I guess maybe I never thought of it. Is that like? <laughs> is that like a dish people eat? Yes, pe peanuts are used in a lot of different kinds of cuisine. So I guess we don't use peanut butter. We use tahini and everything. But we do use a lot of tahini. But the pe peanut butter turned out really good. It yes. gives it a nice, like, real earthiness, you know. And because uh, sesame seeds tahini can be a little bit more bitter, 
and the the peanut butter actually turned out really good. So let's move on to the carrots. And it was my homemade peanut butter, as you said yes, earlier, which true. the link about you can watch a video all about that linked below as well in the blog post. But carrots. Mm. Oh. See, that's good because it's a it's a bit sweet, it's mm. a bit salty. Um. Wow. I could have probably cooked them a little bit slower, like on a lower temperature. Wait, so what's in the carrots? Um, it's got some liquid aminos. I think I put in a little bit of the Worcestershire sauce and the special ingredient, which was a little bit of maple syrup. Mm, that was peace ingredient. Mm -hmm. I could have made them crispier, which would have been quite nice. But I, I mean, taste wise, these turned out amazing. They're very tasty. Mm. The only complaint I have about the carrots is there's not enough. That's true. Maybe but use two packages. <laughs> two packages would have been great. <laughs> All right, and on to the soy curls. Mm. So these, like I said, I just cooked them in the veggie broth with a little bit of the uh, Worcestershire sauce, um, some garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of cayenne. And then mm. I cooked off the liquid there, as you guys saw. See, she doesn't know about this. Uh -huh. I cooked off the liquid and then I air fried them for 10 minutes. I was banished because Brian, when he's in creative Brian mode, he doesn't really want me in the kitchen usually. <laughs> kind of mean, actually. He gets really crabby. And yeah, it's, it's not a good scenario. But... I'm a weird creative individual. Yeah. That when I'm doing something, I need to focus on it entirely. And yeah. you can imagine... <laughs> Jessica brain crazy everything all over the place like what about this what about this what about that is not a good mix with creative Brian <laughs> we like to call it creative differences sure but mm. these are really good man that is so good the uh the the soy curls are really trippy because it's like chicken it's like meat it really is like meat mm -hmm. it's now it's a soft squishy meat that's kind of crossed with a bread, <laughs> but you can keep cooking these. I could have cooked them longer and they would have turned out really crunchy and just fantastic. Like, like I want to do a lot more recipes with soy curls. Okay. So this is a really awesome meal. The other thing you could totally do is just mix this all into a bowl together. And I feel like they all go really well together. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited that you did such a good job with my mystery box that I gave you. I'm quite happy with this. He always gets crabby right after, well, this is only the second time we've done the mystery box, but he's like, wait, I don't know what I'm going to do. And his, you can see his little brain like trying to comprehend what he's going to make out of it. <laughs> but. I think I stared at the ingredients for a good long while this time. Yes, just trying did. to figure it out. That's why I was like, let's start this process at like three o'clock. So by the time it's, you know, mm -hmm. seven o'clock or whatever, I can actually eat maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you did a freaking awesome job and I want to scarf down the rest of this to be honest no then let's get to the close i want to get rid of those people first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you guys have not subscribed please do so look at that bell that is right next to it so you get notified whenever we post a new video you can also find us on social media mainly facebook and instagram and you can message us there i actually spent a good little bit today answering some questions and some comments and stuff just on that alone so we do really like to get back to you guys on that one. Also, you can like and share the video if you uh, decide to do that. It helps us grow the channel and it gets more people to view our stuff. And so therefore we get to help even more people. But, also. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> also, if you, what would you, I'm curious what you would have done with these mystery ingredients. If you have any other ideas of what you would have done mm -hmm. with any of them in particular, comment that below. And also let us know, do you think the next mystery box challenge should be Brian gives me a mystery box? That could be really disastrous, but I can't, I can't guarantee that a good recipe will come out of it, but it will definitely be funny. <laughs> it would be hilarious. But I think that's all I got. That's all I got. Let's get back to eating, and we will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye. Nom, nom, nom. It is really good.